Now that springtime occasion is fast approaching. Yes, it's Easter Sunday this weekend, and I'm delighted to be joined by our very own Easter bunny, which is Candy Nicholson. Doesn't she look gorgeous with that little ears? I, I tell you, what can I say? I'm an Easter bunny. You are an Easter bunny. You're the best <laughs> Easter bunny, Candy. And what does the Easter bunny do? He brings lots of presents on Easter Sunday, and that's what you're going to do for us today, isn't it? Yes. I decided that we'd do an origami basket. Okay. And I thought, obviously, we have the traditional little mini eggs and chocolates yeah. and that sort of thing. But we've got a bit of a twist, a bit of an Asian twist but today, But we have, we? yes. Um, kindly, uh, Lizisa, in long sight, have kindly donated some sweets for us. Fabulous. You can see the big sweets here. Yeah. But we've put them into these little boxes here. Little little baskets, I should say. Yeah. So you can fill them with your traditional sort of mini eggs or chocolate right, eggs yeah. or little gifts. But also you've got the, the Asian sweets there. And they're strong enough to hold them because the, they are. the Asian sweets seem to be a bit, bit heavier, a bit denser. Yeah. But these baskets, they're quite... Really resilient, aren't yeah, they? they can they're hold they're those. really well made, and there's there's basically no glue or anything to them. They're wow. they're really good. They were really fun to make. Well, can we get through yes, to making them? Yes, they're fun. That's what I want to get involved right. with. Right, um, we can do it a couple of ways. I'll show you with a piece of A4 paper. Okay. And what I've got here, if you fold it diagonally, so you make the square. Okay, so you start with the square sheet of paper like that. With the A4. Is that to standard that's paper? That's standard is it size. Enforced cardboard or no? That's just a standard sheet of paper. Right. Okay. Yeah. What I was looking for really was double-sided paper right. because where you can the see the white, on both yeah. sides, yeah. Um, but with the white and the, the pattern paper with the contrast, it looked really nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, so what you actually do is take it to a corner. So you line up that corner there, mm -hmm. and obviously really nice neat edge and then you cut that piece off Fabulous. and, that and that's give how you, you achieve a square yeah. don't throw that away that's that really that. good because get creating a square i always think you have to get the ruler out and try around but that's yeah. a fantastic tip just to do it so much more easier and i've not even used scissors i've just really yep. carefully torn it okay okay so take this bit and we folded it in half diagonally and then we're going to fold it again to here and I've not got my glasses on so you'll have to if I've got slightly blurred edges today did the glasses <laughs> clash with the bunny ears yes, one or it the wasn't, other. yeah it wasn't a good I look I think we made the right choice with <laughs> these bunny ears didn't we so then what we're going to do is open this up and join that point there don't worry if you don't catch all this because we will upload it onto our website so you'll be able to watch it over again because it took me a couple of goes of learning it. Well, you it. can pause it as well. If you yeah. do watch it back, you can always pause it, do it, click as you go. So it's a lot more easy, sort of foolproof way, really, to, to go about doing this. Well, that's this. how I learned how to do this, by pausing it and, you well, know. So enjoy this now, watching Candy get crafty. Yeah. And then when you want to get involved and make it, you can always log on to the internet. So that's it. both worlds there. And then we'll do the same on this corner. Yeah. So again, we'll line that down there. And then we're going to do the same with this bit. And this is the only sort of fiddly bit, really, um, just to get that corner and line it up to there. Try and be as accurate as you can with your folds because it will make it neater. And I love afterwards. your fabulous nails, Candy. They're great for Easter, <laughs> aren't they? They are nice and nice and baby pink this time. Yeah. Okay. So what we've got here is a smaller square now I've noticed we need to have it that way and I'll show you how you know which way you need it okay. when you turn that bit back you've got the two points a like, bit like that like a lotus flower the way yes. that opens up yes. isn't it so as long as you've got it like that you're fine to continue mm -hmm. okay so then what we're going to do is fold this back here right down to the edge and run your finger along there mm -hmm. then turn it over and we're going to do the same again. Fabulous. Okay. And no. you know we were saying what double-sided paper ideally, and obviously that is great, but if you yeah. can't, you can only find it one side. White's a sort of colour that goes with everything. Easter is all about being fresh yeah. and things like that, it and it complements that really well, yeah. actually. And some of the papers I've used where they were, you know, pink and white yeah. or green and white. Bring it into the, the scheme. White works great yeah, with it exactly. anyway. Yeah. Right, get the other piece. This is how we're going to make the so handle. So don't discard that. No. I would have thrown that away. Right, right, okay. Oh, no, crafters don't throw anything, so I keep being told. <laughs> they but I don't, do. indeed. Otherwise, I'd be living in a paper mountain. <laughs> so we're going to fold that in half, and then we're going to open it out and then fold each bit into the middle. So even where we have that little rough edge where I'd torn it, mm -hmm. that'll be hidden because we're going to fold that bit into there and then fold... 
There we go, making noises on the Fabulous. cutting mats. And that's reinforced there, so it's going to have yeah. a bit, it's going to be a lot firmer, a bit stronger if you're going to be lifting that's things it. with it. What I would do with it is run it through your fingers a bit, just to shape it slightly to give it a bit of a bend, because this is going to be a handle. Okay. So just work your paper a little bit first. Lovely. Okay. Now what we're going to do is pop that on there, mm -hmm. about, I'd say, say two thirds of the way down. And lift that flap that we've folded down and put it up to there. Okay. Then we're going to turn the whole piece, so we're going to incorporate the handle. So we're going to turn it again to there. Mm -hmm. And then turn it again to line it up as much as we can with the top of it. If you find you've gone over a bit, then I'd go back and take it a little bit lower down. Right, okay. So don't panic, it's no, all about no. trial and error. Yeah, of course and it I is. suppose as long as you don't push down the folds too firmly, yeah. it's not easy to go back and correct your That's mistakes, it. isn't it? Yeah. So we'll fold that. So we're taking that right to that edge. Fabulous, it looks ever so neat. So what we've done is incorporate the handle into the side now. Right, okay. And we're going to turn it over and take this bit through the middle of there okay. and do the same again. So we're going to need about three fingers extra at this point, but it's fine. Fold that there, then fold it up again and fold it up again, okay? So we've tucked in the handle, all right? So what we've got is that. Fabulous. Which, it's got bunny ears like me. Okay. You've not <laughs> used any glue or no, any adhesive at all. at all. It's literally just all holding it in place through yeah. the, the way it's been positioned. Yeah. Then if we pop it down and lift up this bit here, we've got the crease down okay, there. Yeah. We're going to take this corner and fold that into the middle. And we're going to do that with each each piece. Okay, we're actually running out of time a little right. bit here, Candy. So okay. let's have a look at the things that you use. Yeah, no problem. Well, I'm doing. So obviously while we've been having a look at those, you've been getting it all finished. Yeah. And it's basically the same thing, but all the way round, wasn't yeah. it? And then you've got it like this, and all you do is fold that piece back there. Yeah. This is where the magic comes. Turn it round, fold that piece there, and then just open it out. And Fabulous. all is revealed. Smooth it out that way. And there's your basket. Oh, brilliant. And you can oh, fill it with sweet. whatever you want, can't you? Like you said, you've got the traditional sort of Asian sweets, we've got British sweets, we've got absolutely anything. Yeah. Or for some other little, little gift presents, ideas. Yeah, jewelry, exactly. anything. And you can no, fill it with papers. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, I've just completely ruined the shot. Just scrunch up these papers and yeah, fill it. Yeah, that's all I've done is pop some... some little... Let's do it really quickly. Oh, there you are, and that gives it a nice bit Lovely. of colour as well, doesn't Lovely. it?